world? Yes, I would think so. Uh, TerraCycle today is in 14 countries around the world. Uh, we are expanding to 20 countries by the end of this year. And actually, early next year, we'll be launching here in Colombia as well. Uh, so I'm very happy to be able to consider us a global uh, movement and hope that it continues to grow globally uh, every year. What really is exciting uh, is to see conferences like these, um, uh, especially here, because they're not that common. Um, and especially in Latin America, it's something that I have yet to see happen uh, frequently. So it's really exciting to see that there's interest in packaging, interest in sustainability, and uh, makes me very optimistic for when we launch in Colombia early next year. Sure, conferences like the one here today in Bogota is absolutely critical because it creates awareness. And first, without awareness, there's never going to be change. Uh, the term upcycling came from Bill McDonough. He wrote a book called Cradle to Cradle. He's a good friend, and uh, he developed this term only about 10 years ago. Um, the way we define upcycling is a little different than how uh, Bill would, um, and that is that we view upcycling where you make a product without destroying any aspect of the raw material or the waste that you're using to make that product. Yes, 100% of all garbage can be collected, and all of it can either be recycled or upcycled. Uh, not everything can be upcycled, but everything can be recycled. And so it challenges the question of why have a landfill, why burn for energy, when everything can, in fact, be solved. When you look at the carbon cost of what to do with waste, when you send something to a landfill, you're spending about half a gram of carbon. When you burn for energy, about six grams of carbon is what you're spending to convert that uh, piece of waste to energy. If you recycle, you don't actually create carbon, you offset carbon, and you offset about 13 grams of carbon. And if you upcycle or reuse, then it's 10 times better. It's about 190 grams of carbon is offset per piece of waste. Well, that's a, that's a big question. I don't know when landfills uh, 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 will be over, um, but with more recycling infrastructure and more companies like TerraCycle and even TerraCycle growing, I think we'll get closer and closer to having to rely less on landfills. Hopefully within our lifetimes, we will see that uh, idea end, uh, and all we can do is work towards it.